سابق وزیر قانون اور حقوق انسانی کے متحرک کارکن اقبال حیدر مرحوم کا ایک تعلق لندن سے بھی تھا ان کے انتقال کی خبر نے ساری دنیا میں پھیلے ان کے دوستوں اور عزیزوں کو اداس کر دیا کئی یادیں کئی باتیں ان کے ساتھ گزرے لمحے سب یاد آتے رہے ان کی یاد میں تقریبیں منعقد کرتے رہے ایسی ہی ایک تقریب پچھلے دنوں لندن میں بھی منعقد ہوئی جہاں مرحوم اقبال حیدر کے دوستوں اور عزیزوں نے ان کو یاد کیا بیرسٹر سبغت اللہ قادری کیو سی برطانیہ کے ایک معروف بیرسٹر ہیں انہوں نے اقبال حیدر کی یاد میں ایک تعزیتی ریفرنس کا انعقاد لندن میں کیا اور اقبال حیدر سے وابستگی رکھنے والوں کو اقبال حیدر کی یادیں دہرانے کا موقع فراہم کیا all here today to commemorate the life and work of Mr. Iqbal Heather. As you all know, he was a senior advocate at the Supreme Court of Pakistan. He was also the co-chairman of the Human Rights Commission of Pakistan, the General Minister of Law, Justice and Affairs, and the Attorney General. He was a courageous, outspoken critic of the Army's involvement and interference in Pakistan. In politics. He held a number of positions in various organizations, and I don't want to go into his political career. More importantly, as we all know, human rights was his great passion. I've had the pleasure to have met him on a number of occasions over the last three, four years, when he visited our chambers at six Kings Bench Ward, which are now two Kings Bench Ward. Unfortunately, I was unable to meet him this summer when he visited the United Kingdom as I was involved in a case. As you will all agree, Mr. Iqbal Heather has left a huge vacuum in this world, which will be very difficult to fill. As lawyers, my view is the best tribute we can pay to him is to continue what he has done, and as lawyers to defend poor people, the disadvantaged people of our society, be it in the United Kingdom or in Pakistan. Many of you here today would have known him much better than I did. Many people will be speaking, and the Deputy High Commissioner will also be addressing everyone. بیرسٹر سبقت اللہ قادری نے مہمانوں کا خیر مقدم کیا اور تقریب کے اغراض و مقاصد بیان کیے بعد از اقبال حیدر مرحوم کے دوستوں نے تقاریر کی Then I was in GDC, I had to win up the bar. Then I had come back. That was the time when Ayub Khan was going down the hill. Mr. Bhutto was coming up, 67, 68. We, along with lots of Bengali friends, that means Mr. Pakistan friends, Mr. Pakistan friends, we were occupying Pakistan High Commissions in protest. He was with us. This young student who had come from Pakistan, who bar, he had joined Pakistan student Federation with us, and we were protesting. And then simultaneously, this place, the Inns of Court, the School of Law, it was full of racism. I'm a venture now here. I'm a QC. That time I was a profit maker. There were no students' unions. So we occupied the School of Law. We wanted no discrimination. The first time that the Baal schools were occupied, going on this trial, in 68, Tariq Ali was doing, everybody was doing. So we said, we'll do something, just for the book. It became very serious. The Baal Ali was with us. And we struggled, and we got the support to establish a student's union, Lincoln Student Union, the Baal Ali was elected as vice president. In our temple, the student association, I was elected the president, and I defeated 
Mr. John Laws, who then was now Lord Justice Laws. So we worked together in betterment of students for the black and Asian bar students here. So before he became a leader, before he joined the political party, he was with me struggling for the rights of minorities, for immigrants, for the people of Pakistan, against the basic democracy. So that was the part. That is something you heard all about him. The one thing that people have missed, he also was involved in missing people's cases. There's something that we have heard about all the other people. Missing people's cases. And then something else. And we have not talked. So there will be a lot of talk, I think, on Monday about all the national issues. We are having a meeting. But if I rather was a vocal exponent of the rights of Balochistan people in Balochistan who was happening to them, if I rather a human rights champion, was talking all the time. You heard him on TV, everywhere. He was involved in all these things. Everything. That's what we missed. missing. All the numbers say, that we pray today, today that God gave him, and I'm sure God Almighty could have reward him because for a Muslim, the important, most important thing is Allah will forgive you for any crime, any guna that you commit. So that's the guna against Allah. Even if you don't do prayers, don't do fasting, He may forgive you. But to deny the right of people to pull a bath in the north. <coughs> so it's very important to fight for the rights of people. And that's what he says. I was lucky enough to know Iqbal Haider for a very long time. Uh, I think I was a beneficiary of his uh, defense as well. But I was haunted by Ziaul Haq uh, in the 80s and mid 80s. I think, as everybody has said uh, before me, uh, to remember people like Iqbal Haider, the best way is to carry on the work they, which they have left when they die. And I think it is our duty to carry on the work on not only human rights, but equality and other commitments which Iqbal Haider stood for. Can I thank uh, Qadri Saab and his loyal committee for organizing this memorial meeting. I was speaking to another meeting a couple of days back and somebody said we always remember that. We don't appreciate the living. I think Iqbal Haider was someone whom we recognized and appreciated while he was living. I met him in Karachi, and I think if I can see, there are many people sitting here from Karachi, from Leari to other areas. So can I tell you that he was hosting a dinner for the people who were celebrating 13 years of pilot. I don't know how many people here know what is Pilar. Few people. So Pilar is Pakistan Institute for Education and Research for Labor. It is an institute which has been working there for 30 years. And Karamat Ali, the executive director, has sent his condolences. He couldn't make it today, otherwise he would have been here today. And it was a dinner hosted for the guest, and I was one of them, in Karachi, in Board Club, which is a very famous for people who are secular, and Muslim, but also have a life uh, apart from very, very rigid Muslims, a very liberal life. So he invited us there, and I remember there were about 50 people, and he was speaking with a passion about his life, his work, not only as a barrister, lawyer, as a senator, and minister, and chairman of many organizations which have been mentioned by Barrister Rashid, but he was speaking of his commitment to the poor, to the forgotten people, to the downtrodden people, and as Kandri Sahib has said, he always took the cases of those people free of cost, up to Supreme Court, not only in the lower courts, but up to very high cases. And one case which he always was very proud of was Habib Jalib's case. And I met him in London many times when Kandri Sahib Habib Jalib was here, and he hosted Habib Jalib on Ethria Road, and Habib Jalib used to call me at midnight and says, this Iqbal Haider has put me in prison in London, Mushtaq Rachari. Can you rescue me? I don't want to live in what such a wonderful flat. I want to live in area where I can see my own people, my poor people. And I think he was always 
for rule of law. And we should own Pakistanis, whether we live in Pakistan, whether we live in Middle East, or in Western world, or developed world. We should work for the rule of law for not only rich and top people who can get away with anything in the world anywhere, but we should work for those who cannot get away for the minor crimes sometimes they commit because of their necessity or other things. And we should always remember Iqbal Heather and other people who have worked for them and has worked for equality, tolerance, and fairness in the societies wherever they work. Thank you very much. Maybe I speak English, but I don't think so. My, my vocabulary is too high, or maybe can I use some words which for Iqbal Heather? While you would like to say something in Urdu, Shahid Iqbal Adha Sahib ki ruh zara ko sirf khush ho. Sirf ho. Okay. Main being a liarian, or being a people's party ke worker, being a smitha, mujhe ye bada honor hai. Main unke saath as a press secretary, people's party district south, public relation officer district south, kaam kiya. Iqbal Adha Sahib ke baal karl the, jo jinu ne dekha hai, गलियारी वाले मोहब्बत से कहते थे सफेद मकरानी वो बड़ा खुश होते थे तो शायद लाशाही साहब ने जो जालिब साहब की एग्जाम्पल कोर्ट की कि वो वहां से निकल के अपने लोगों में जाना चाहते थे तो शायद यही वजह हो कि इकबाल साहब ने उनसे सीखा हो कि गरीबों के साथ किस तरह रहा जाता है आई फाउंड इन वेरी काइंड और पीपल्स पार्टी के सदर बहुत आते रहे कराची में एक दो हमें याद था यहाँ एक सदर बैठे हुए और भी अमीर काजी साहब उनका बड़ा प्यार था वर्कर के साथ उनके बाद जब काजी साहब चले गए सदारत से तो वर्कर्स बड़े अपने आप को नॉनली महसूस करते थे इकबाल अदर साहब ने उस वैक्यूम को पूरा किया और मैंने पॉलिटिक्स जहाँ मोहतरमा से सीखी छोटे छोटे इश्यूज को किस तरह फॉलो अप करना चेस करना और इकबाल अदर साहब वो वाहिद ऐसे प्रेजिडेंट थे हमारे कि लियारी में पानी का मसला हो उस जमाने में पानी की बड़ी शॉर्टेज हुआ करती थी शॉर्टेज अब भी है लेकिन अब इतनी नहीं है गटर का मैन होल का मसला हो उस जमाने में इतनी किलिंग शायद नहीं होती थी लेकिन इकबाल साहब में क्वालिटी थी कि उनके जो हाउस था हारून एंड हैदर कंपनी वो डॉन हाउस में था डॉन बिल्डिंग में जहाँ पे एंट्री बड़ी मुश्किल होती थी पति यू गो एंड मेक अ पर्ची और इंट्रोडक्शन दिस दिस जब इकबाल साहब मैन भी दिखे हम प्रेजिडेंट तो पहला ऑर्डर उन्होंने पास किया कि नो मोर पर्ची नो मोर सिक्योरिटी अब हारून बिल्डिंग जहर ब्यूरोसी का एक बड़ा अखबार है उनका अपना इमिजाज इस तरह का था तो पीपल्स पार्टी के फिर वर्कर हो इकबाल अदर कोई कौमी महास पार्टी के प्रेसिडेंट तो थे नहीं कारकुनों का बड़ा वो मैंने उनको कितनी बार झगड़ के देखा गारमन हमीद हारून साहब थे उन्होंने थ्रेड कर दिया कि भाई आई लीव योर ऑफिस लेकिन वो अच्छी बात थी एक दो बातें और थी जो बहुत अच्छी बात थी उनमें विच इज़ आई प्राउड कि मैंने उनके साथ काम किया वो करप्शन फ्री इंसान थे